What happens in jiu-jitsu a lot of times is you'll get into a good position, you'll go for the submission, and your partner will move in a way that will, you'll have to stop what you're doing, stop going for the submission, and recover the position. So even though I'm in a really great spot here, there's gonna come a time when Morgan starts to escape. So for example, if we are off to the underhook side, which your partner will often wanna be, sometimes they can escape the hooks with their legs and step over your bottom leg here. This is where it comes back to the seatbelt being more important in terms of control, because as long as I keep my seatbelt, if I can build up and put my knee on the floor, my head is on the floor as well, and then I just focus on sitting Morgan up here. Now I can start to get an angle, move to my right side, step over, first hook goes in, I fall to my right. As long as I stay behind my partner here and I'm behind her shoulder, I can start to build up, recover by setting her up. Sometimes people will shell up really tight here. And if you go to throw the hook in from behind, it's never gonna work. So in that situation, you just step up, step over and just step in front of the ankle then you fall back into position. We can keep doing the same movement as a drill as my partner steps over the bottom hook, keep that seatbelt tight, and then I can look to sit my partner up. Now I can move to either side, left or right. I can throw that hook in and now fall off to the side, hooks go back in, and now I can look to hunt the submission, which is really what I'm after in this back and forth. So that's a quick move that you can use to recover the position when you feel like you're about to lose it. Your partner will be frustrated. It'll give you more time to attack and just keep them under pressure.